food and bath lovers, break out your rolling pins today. March 14th is Pi Day, a celebration of the mathematical constant 3.14. So what better way to celebrate Pi Day than to, of course, indulge in a few savory pies. Chef Christian Pritchard joins us now in the AM Kitchen. So it was lemon meringue for breakfast, savory pies for lunch. You guys do all right here in Canada. It's not bad, right? Yeah. It's well, not bad. It's amazing that you've got me doing a mathematics constant. What, you didn't do well in math? I think I failed three times in high school, right? <laughs> grade 11. If my grade 11 teacher's watching, he's like, what's he doing 314 for? Well, hey, you know what? Celebrated chef. Ex oh, That's why, Mr. There, or Mrs. Math teacher, I look what okay happened. I did okay with the carrots. You did okay <laughs> yeah. with the carrots. You did very okay. So yeah. what, tell us about this, because that this looks is so really interesting. Cool. Well, you know what? Why not celebrate a savory pie on 314 with something that is, you know, utilizing ingredients over and over, which is very important. No waste. This is an Italian frittata. Mm -hmm. So this is a beautiful pie penne with the lamb ragu I did on the weekend. But you know what, we had some leftover, you put it in the fridge, get it into a pan after with a little oil or a little butter, yeah. and then some eggs. So then you sort of heat it up in the pan and then finish it in the oven, right? So when we go out for events or in a restaurant, we go slam and slam this down on the board and then we cut it right through. This is a great idea. Look at this. Tell me this is not the coolest. Oh, see, look at that. Look how, and there you go. Dinner, lunch, whatever. Look at that. But Beautiful. Some I arugula, you. you're set to go. This is why I love now, you. Now let's kitchen. whip through this stuff too. Tortier. Why not always have a great Canadian dish, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. French Canadian. There we Absolutely. go. Absolutely. And it's such a classic dish. And the, the thing that's the most important, I know my buddy Pierre in Montreal, his mom made the best. So mine kind of, you know. But this one's amazing. And the most important part to me is the crust. you got to have the butter, the, the lard, is, that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. It's right? always about the crust. Really, really What's good. What's inside? Well, we've got some pork. We've got all spice, all sorts of, lots of onion. It's delicious. We'll have a little bit after, okay? Okay. We will eat after this. Yeah. If we had smell vision right now... This There's no smell of vision here? No, we need to fix that. Oh. Christian, can we do something about that? This is, I see all sorts of seafood in yep. there. What we've got is some shrimp, some scallop. We've got some great white fish. I used pickerel in here today. Some, you know, some asparagus, carrots. Mm. And then it's be gonna, gonna become a beautiful seafood pie. Okay, so we'll put some great mashed potato on there, put it in the oven after. So that process, and of course, about half a liter of wine and some cream. Because too, Marcy. it's necessary. And it's Monday morning. It's Monday morning, right. so we have to do what we must. Exactly. Now, Shepherd's pie. Who doesn't love shepherd's pie? Love Some people shepherd's don't. Pie. Do you like Ooh, shepherd's pie? Of course. Who I doesn't know. love shepherd's pie? And you can always put your own spin on it. So we've, I've got this going then like right the way through. Look Let at me this. Hold that for you. Are you ready? Okay, Everybody, please extent. help okay. me out. Come on. Look Ooh. at that. It's the best comfort food going. That and about, you know, five liters of HP in your set, right? <laughs> yeah. it's a, you know, it's, yeah. it's, I'm not saying anything bad about my food, but it's all right. It's really good, okay. you know? I love you. <laughs> so two more things. We've got in the front. You always want something simple that does celebrate the pie. You've got prosciutto yeah. and egg, which is basically like a bacon and egg little pie. Perfect. Okay. Finally... Well, I said it was not, I was going to do all savory, but I had to do something sweet. How about a Brazilian torta, which is uh, condensed milk, fresh lime juice, fresh lime zest, and uh, yeah, we got it semi freight a little bit frozen, so refreshing, and it'll get your heart going. It or sure will. It you always do, Christian, always. Thank you so much. Thank you. You will find Christian savory pie recipes on our website, CanadaAM.ctvnews.ca.